For more than half a century, motor racing has drawn crowds in Japan. But for motorsports fans, one Grand Prix stands out, the 1964 meeting at Suzuka. It was the day the skyline legend began. A team of Skyline GTs line up for the GT2 race. They were souped up sedans, but were about to do the unthinkable and challenge the established champions from abroad. The Skylines nearly didn't get to the race at all. To qualify, a hundred units of the production version of the car had to have been made. Prince Motors, later to merge with Nissan, only just made the target. The Skyline GT had a longer nose and a straight six, triple carburetted engine. It was the brainchild of chief engineer Shinichiro Sakurai. Reunited with the number 39 he drove in the race back in 1964, Yoshikazu Sunako remembers the modified car seemed far from perfect at first. ボディ after a few practice runs, Sunako knew the car was something special. The saloon model Skyline would have to be quick. Another late addition to the field was a Porsche 904 Carrera GTS, a German car that came with a fearsome reputation. The Skyline would not defeat the Porsche, which could hit a top speed of over 250 kilometers per hour. But Sunako's driver colleague, Tetsu Ikuzawa, would get ahead for a lap that all Japan would applaud. As the Skyline led the Porsche, fans at Suzuka and around Japan went wild. The title ultimately went to the German car, but the Skylines had a clean sweep from second place to sixth. Sunako was in the number two spot, and the plucky driving of Ikuzawa had captured a nation's imagination. Toshiyuki Shiga is now Nissan's chief operating officer. He says he decided on his path in life that day. I was just nine years old at the time, but uh, I still remember the big news. So actually, 1964 is really starting Japan motorization. And always Nissan led initiative on the, these, you know, the, the motorsport. I was so happy, and uh, it was you know, that, uh, kind of the, my children's dream. I want to... I want to enter the Nissan, you know? Veteran race driver Kazuyoshi Hoshino, who himself would become a national hero at Daytona nearly 30 years later, said the Skyline also fired his imagination. The Suzuka result in 1964 didn't produce a win, but it did inspire the development of the R380 series cars that would claim the Grand Prix over Porsche just two years later. And Sunako would be at the wheel of the 1966 GP champion. 
such as the significance of the number 39, that a team of volunteers have put hundreds of hours into restoring it. Working in Nissan's Zama Heritage Garage, where the car has been stored to make it ready to return to the scene of its greatest success, the Suzuka Racetrack. あの、さっきとで走ってこその車だというのを感じました。ザマの記念庫にね、保管した時ではもうこれは寝てるのと同じでもうほとんど死んでる状態とですがここで来てですね、輝いているというのを感じました。It was the racer that started the Skyline story, a legend that has continued through 12 generations of the car. A fitting memorial to the chief engineer Sakurai who passed away last year. A legacy of innovation and excitement that endures to this day.